have to know. Where else would I be? Work done. Logged on at seven. Finished three. So four o'clock in a German time. Um, good day. Got thanked for the uh, the work I've done so far for the Germans. And uh, really pleased. So that's all good. Um, my timesheet's approved. So I get paid. That's good. Uh, as most of you have seen, yesterday's dinner, that was on a ball. Apparently, according to Doofus Jones, I ain't fucking funny. I am. Um, I put a post up saying it was just enough for one. I plated up three. I had a load of veg left. I, I could have plated up five or six meals with the amount of veg and all I did. And the piece of beef, the, the river beef I had, which was absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely stunning. It just melted. Um, and that's from Raglan Farm Shop. Literally five minutes from where I am now. Um, if you go from a port, go to the Caldera, go up the dual carriageway, get off at Raglan, and then as you go into the village, you pass the church, turn left, follow that road down a couple of hundred yards, and Raglan Farm Park is on your right hand side. You can't miss it, signposted and everything. Um, but it is absolutely phenomenal beef, it's local, grass fed. Um, and Dillis in the farm, so she's amazing. She's always looked after me when I was doing the uh, food festivals and all of that sort of stuff. All my beef was from there. So when I was at the food festivals doing the pulled beef and the deconstructed stuff at the, the uh, NATO summit on the riverbank, that was all, all the beef was all from there, all from Dillis. Um, Raglan Farm Shop. It's my plug for the day. Got a family of swans just down there on the uh, on the stones, or just in the edge of the water. As soon as I come down, pulled into the car park, car park was, was full, um, I'm like the jerk people. So I've come straight in, straight on a bend, down a bank, and in, no messing about. Um, pointless walking, two, three hundred yards up the bank, because I know that I'll just turn around and come back. So I just got straight in here. Uh, weekend of no booze. Um, I didn't even drink all the alcohol free beer I bought. I bought um, the Brewdog Punk IPA. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's nice, it's refreshing. Um, I only had a couple of cans though. Um, this, the, the thing is, you know, it's tempting, especially when it's like this, absolutely stunning. In the river, out, round to the cliver, because the uh, guide was shut on a Monday. Um, I have a pint of cider when it's sunny like this. Sit in the sun, pint of cider. But uh, I'm not going to. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go home, do bits and pieces. Um, I'm waiting for the varnish to come to do uh, Vicky and Tony's mannequin. Um, at the moment, it looks like Vicky's coming to get it on the 12th of August. So about two weeks, really. Um, So I need to get it varnished, let that cure, and then fit the lamp in there. It, it's not a problem. Plenty of time. Um, it'll all be done. What an absolutely stunning day. But it's all changed tomorrow, apparently. But uh, it don't matter. It just means I get the river back to myself. So... Um, yeah, so, good weekend, quiet weekend, um, apart from the river and cooking, I didn't do much, um, didn't even turn the telly on yesterday, last night, whatever, I just had music on, um, I went and got my washing in about 10 o'clock last night, because I thought, in case it did rain overnight or anything, I was listening to the Fox Cubs over in the, the hedge, 
two cubs over there. Um, and the noise is amazing. What have we got flying over here now? A buzzard. Oh no, is it? Yeah, it's a buzzard. We do get kites around here. There's a pair, um, or there were a pair, at the place called Great Oak, which is not far from here. Only five minutes up the road. Um, but even with the people up there, it's just pure bliss. Um, looking for a thermal. You catch a thermal and off you'll go. The common buzzard. Um, I'm going to rants today. Uh, all's good at the moment. So nothing's uh, ranting today. In my happy place, in the river, um, and that's, that's me happy. There's some about down the bottom here. Whether it's little fish or fry or whatever, or whether I've caught something on my train or not. I don't know. They won't be around for much longer. Swallows, swifts, sand martins further up. They, uh, they get on the bank up there. Um, I haven't seen the mink. I haven't seen the otter. There's too many people about at the moment. If I come down like late evening and just chill in the, in the water and then just sit on the bank and watch, that's when, when you see them and hear them. When there's no people about. But it is absolutely glorious. I'm not going to mention the football because I didn't watch a single game. Um, so it makes no odds to me. But I will be over the county on Saturday. At the moment. All going well. Unless I have a wobbly. Which, touch wood, I'm doing alright at the moment, doing alright. The uh, people moaning about the Conservative leadership thing, you've got no fucking option, you've got no choice, unless you're a, a, a member of the Conservative Party, one of the 0.25% of the population, it goes in the fuck it bucket, you can't do fuck all about it. You've got no choice, no say. End of story. So whichever one of the fuckers gets in, it makes no odds. Because um, they'll both bend you over and give you a good shaft in. And keep taxing you on fucking breathing. Fucking taxes on this, taxes, that hidden taxes on everything. The, the job I'm doing at the moment for the Germans... Um, I'm doing it through a third party and it's a decent rate and by the time the tax man's at his bit you know all the national insurance and all the other bits and pieces I get 53% of my gross so they take nearly half of my money in taxes again it's fuck all you can do about it um, the days of the creative accountancy for IT consultants are gone um, you've got to do through things like what's called IR35 these days so you go to an umbrella company they have, they have a bit um, and all the rest of it because the uh, 
the tax man didn't like some of the schemes that people were using. Um, Guy is full of birds. Yeah, so the tax man didn't like it. But when you've got people, you know, like Rooney and that who are on absolutely absurd amounts of money and only paying fucking 10 bob tax, you can understand why. Uh, for people like me, it, you know, neither here nor there. Um, but you used to be able to do certain things with accountancy and all. And you'll be able to keep about 70% of your gross. Or a bit more. But uh, they've stopped all that now. So there's not much difference now between being an, an IT contractor or a Sparrowhawk and being permanent. Um, except permanent, you, you've got holiday pay, um, sick pay um, and all the other bits and pieces that go with being a permanent member of staff. Whereas being a contractor, you don't get any of it. Um, so if you're ill, you're ill. If you're on holiday, you don't get paid. Um, so, you know, tax man will have you, whichever way you look at it, whatever you do. Tax and death are the only two certainties in life, so they say. So um, I'm just going to chill in the river, in my happy place. Um, water temperature, I don't know, 15, 16 degrees, something like that. A little egret down there by the swans. Yeah, about 15, 16 degrees. So anything below 15 is classed as cold water. So... The surface might be 18 or 19, but once you're under the surface, you know, I'm in about five, six foot of water, um, it, it, it'll still be about 15 in a river. It don't get much above that. The sea temperature at the moment, um, I checked, checked on Thursday or Friday, I was going to go to the sea, 15.6. Um, and that was at Porth Core. So, see if it. Um, when the last time that I measured the sea temperature, I was me and Jones was in um, Southern Down, December, and that was. I think it was 11 something. Yeah, 11 and a half, nearly 12. Uh, so there's not a, not a big difference. Um, the end of August now is when the uh, the sea and water temperatures are at their warmest. End of August, beginning of September. Um, 16 and a half, 17 degrees, if you're lucky. Uh, on the south coast, around South Wales and that. Um, lakes if you've got hot weather the surface will warm up but if there's any depth it doesn't and this is where people get into trouble um, I read something last month there were I think it was 14 in, in Wales alone 14 deaths attributed to cold water and water shock accidents last month so July 14 deaths in Wales alone um, by people not respecting it in a lot of cases um, some there are you know natural causes and that which you can't do nothing about but the majority are with people paying no respect to cold water reservoirs and places like that um, you know they've had a few they go along the jetties and they jump into what could be right, you're not going to go to the bottom of it but it could be 50, 60, 70 foot deep the water in those uh, reservoirs 
and they're cold. They don't heat up. The top bit will heat up, the therm thermal warming from the sun, because um, it's still, or relatively still. That buzzard ain't happy. Uh, so they jump in. Um, a grown man can drown on a cup of water. They jump in, go under the water, go <gasps> and inhale between three and four litres of water. And they're in water that's way over their depth, out of their depth, and uh, end of story. So always pay your respect. Um, I can easily get in and out. You know, if I'm in any difficulty, I'm in water that I can stand up in. Um, and to get out, I could just go straight across there. The water that is this is about as deep as it gets here. I'm I'm in the middle of the river. This is about as deep as it gets. So I've got easy exit, um, and I'm not in your piss. Um, when me and Jones go to the sea or come down a river, we'll, we'll go in the water now. We'll have a beer afterwards, sat on a, on a beach or up on a bank, and sometimes I'll cook. Um, but I don't drink when I'm in the water. You respect it. Give it a bit of respect. Or Mother Nature will bite you ass. Anyway, you glorious bastards. I'm wintering on. I just thought I would give you of education for today i know i've said it over and over again but please respect it um it's like when what people see me now and they say is it cold and i say it is i said difference being i go in it all year so and then you see people get in they're up to their knees and they're going that's freezing but they're getting in slowly they're not just jumping straight in um, some days I do, I just come straight in and I go straight under. Um, but in general, I'll come in and like, I'll do this. I'll do this, I have a wait about and everything. Um, what I do, and I chuck the camera back up on the bank. Have a swim about. And where I am here, I'll swim against this current. Um, and I'll probably only go about 10 yards, but it's resistance. It's like an infinity pool. Um, and people don't realize that as well. Rivers, uh, this is this is a strong old river, the Usk. You've got to give her respect. Um, I did moan yesterday about um, the pollution and storm drains and Dua Cymru and all, and, the, the River Usk is a protected river, protected resource. Um, it's an SSRI, Site of Scientific Special Interest. Um, but still, Dua Cymru, Natural Resources Wales, they dump shit in you. And I mean shit. Raw sewage. Um, and it's fucking wrong. Anyway, I'm waffling. So, um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be standing up on this. Not that thing. I don't know. Let's have a go. Up we go. Take care. Look after yourself, look after your loved ones. Love what you're doing, love who you're doing. If you don't love what you're doing, find something else to fucking do. If you don't love who you're doing, why are you? Oh. Look after yourself. <laughs>